Hey guys, welcome back to another installment of Hair Tube. I'm here again in Sydney and today with Nikki. I um, met Nikki earlier in the week and she's coming to have her hair done and I'm really excited about it because I'm actually going to get to do some colour as well today. Um, so it's actually going to be quite a big transformation so let me get straight in and explain to you what I'm doing. So I'm going to spin Nikki around so you can see her back. I'll pull her hair out. So you see a previous haircut, she's been left with a, a slight undercut um, and it's quite dark under there. So we're going to go through and lighten this all up because Nikki's brought some photos with her today and she wants to be a little bit lighter. Um, you can see that she has a curly wavy texture to her hair so we're going to work on creating a lob length shape probably a little bit shorter in the back keeping it longer in the front and really working with a natural texture so i think um, it's going to be a pretty big transformation so i'm excited about doing it what about you definitely yeah let's do it do you have any questions no let's All right, go we're going to get started right now and i do crazy faces Nikki's wrapped up, um, I'll spin around here, you can see I've done a few basic sections which is for me is just um, to control the um, hair while we're foiling so um, I'm going to go through here and I'm just going to place the foils alternating um, between um, Ultralight um, VV and or it's ULVV, ULAA and 40 volt. We're using Bond Ultimate in um, that and also uh, we've got some Light Master and 30 volt. Also Bond Ultimate in that. Um, I'm just going to work horizontally, alternating between the two colours all the way to here. The reason why I've sectioned this part of Nikki's hair away, if you go back to the beginning of the video, you'll see that this was the long hair that was hanging over the top. So I'm just going to um, work with subsections and I like to do that because it's easy to control the hair and keep it nice and neat because we work neat. So I'll go through here, lighten this up. Um, you'll see the process um, and then hopefully um, when you see Nikki next she's going to be nice and light and blonde. in um, now we just have to wait for the process so um, Nick is going to process and when you see her next um, hopefully she's blonde and uh, beautiful and ready for a great haircut Perfect. So just to recap on what I did, um, foiling is um, there's very vast, well there's a vast array of techniques you can use. I used a very um, classic, I guess you could call, placement for a full head section. The idea was to um, remove the regrowth obviously 
Um, if you go back to the beginning of the video, you'll see that we had some caramel tones in, so we've done that. We achieved that today using the ultralight um, half VV, half AA in ultralight. And that's given us our almost like our dark blonde or caramel. And then we've light, light master and we've done a toner. And if you need to know any of the formula, it'll be in the description. So go down there, check it out, and you can use that. So now on with the haircut. I explained earlier that we've got an undercut in here and it's essentially going to be um, about the guide length that we're going to use. However, what I'm going to do is use some graduation, build some shape. Um, we're going to leave it longer towards the front, but I actually want to build some shape in the back so that when you see Nikki from the side like this, rather than it all falling on one length and getting width here, you want to actually bring the width up a little bit so that it complements her, her neckline and her shoulders. So I'm going to start on the back. I've started with our basic sectioning. Um, we've got through the middle, the front's sectioned away. Um, you can see that there's um, already um, a clear guideline underneath. I am going to go over and check that because that was done previous, but you can see there's actually not that much hair to cut here, so I'm going to start with just checking that.
Baseline's done in the back. Now we're working around into the side. And we want to make sure that we retain this length because we want it to be longer into the front. Up from the gorgeous, thank you. A little bit to the side, thanks. And if you could just look into the mirror for me, that'd be great. A bit more, perfect. Now we repeat that on the other side. I find this side so much easier being right-handed because the shoulder doesn't get in the way. Just be careful not to stretch it down over the ear too much. Same spinning around this way. And if you could look this way for me, great. Thank you. And just now look straight at me, please. Perfect. I'm happy with the balance of the baseline now. I'm going to start working our shape into the back. I'm going to create our nice graduated shape. And I'm going to start using horizontal sections. For me, horizontal sections are um, the preferred way to start building shape in the hair, and you'll see why in a sec. I'm sectioning around about, I guess you could say it's the occipital bone area. And I noticed that my baseline's a little bit out, so I'll fix that first. It's just that little bit of graduation there underneath the... Perfect. Okay, chin up a little bit for me. I'm going to take a section straight through the middle, 45 degrees, about a centimetre. Same on the other side. down a little bit thank you so you can see I'm just sectioning it just away there make sure you're cutting horizontal we don't want to get lazy and go into diagonal forward you want to make sure we're keeping this horizontal and then we just check our guideline so now we bring everything to that point And then we just need to connect the top to the bottom, which makes it so much easier to guarantee that 
that you're hitting your guideline every single section because if you're out one millimeter here by the time you get to here one two three four five you're out half a centimeter which can actually be quite a lot and will create a significant imbalance onto the other side show you this way you may not have seen it I'll show you again So I was just joining this guideline to the bottom here. That's gonna to start to build into this beautiful graduated shape. going good we should give it a bit of a cross check so that perfect the underneath is finished you often hear me talk about mapping haircuts so before I bring this section into my graduation I'm actually going to set the guide for my layering and I'm just going to use horizontal layering or a box layering technique and it's a bit of a guesstimation just from experience because um, I've done it a lot but what we want to do is essentially create a point at the top here where I can just um, join those two um, sections together and it's easy to do it this way because by using layering as a guide or mapping out using layering you're not going to run the risk of building a big weight line underneath here. So now when I spin back around this way, you'll be able to see that my point on top, I should be able to just join the two together. Not short enough. Do it again. It's better to adjust it than do it too short. The colors looking absolutely beautiful, I have to say. Good. 
Now let's try again. I really just want to see this hair here joining this graduated shape underneath. I think that's better this time. We're about to find out, I guess. Yeah, it's good. So you can see my point there at the top and I just need to join that to the underneath. Before I go on to bring the sides in, I'm actually going to continue with this guideline and I'm going to take the length out through the top. So rectangle section that follows on from my section in the back. You see, I'm just going to tuck this behind the ear so you guys can see. And then essentially straight through here, we're going to continue that through. Stationary guideline, this doesn't move. We've blended that in now through the middle. Essentially what we've done is to create ourselves a guide for the sides. So now I'm gonna tie the sides into that middle section. And 
don't drop into a vertical section, make sure you bring it around square and you're still cutting horizontally. Down a little bit, gorgeous. Thank you. Side looks a little bit out. Let's get a semi back on. Yeah. On the top, we've now brought the sides in. Now we just need to connect the top to the bottom on the sides, and we're going to bring that into the back of the haircut. You can see here, just a matter of blending that into our guide. The reason I love cutting hair this way is it just creates consistency if you get interrupted because um, your other clients here or you know the various things that go on in the salon it's easy to walk away you come back it's like yep you can see exactly where you're up to so i always like to map and follow a pattern during the construction process of a shape and uh, it also provides you the ultimate platform to be creative so don't rush the foundation don't point cut it you can always go back and soften cutting lines later on last section bringing into the back and then we'll be able to go and repeat this on the other side when I'm cutting especially on um, curly hair I love to just mist it when I'm working with natural texture, just to mist it some with the Miracle Creator. Now we're going to work on the front. I don't want to layer it um, in the inside. We're actually going to layer it on the top, which will still give us some shape in the front. So, spin you around this way, gorgeous. It'll take a nice deep triangle section just head down for me just spin you around so you guys can see that and head up and I'm going to stand on this side because I like to stand where I'm cutting away from the head not into the head and I'm just going to layer this shorter in the back longer in the front because the short hair directs the long hair you don't want to cut into the baseline too much And then you'll see what this does when we drop it. You can see that it actually creates the short hair on the top. Now we're going to bring everything into that. And when we push it to the sides, it should actually give us the illusion of having shaped it around the face without cutting the hair short in and around and underneath. We're just working on getting those la the layering or the short hair on top of the long hair to dictate where we want the hair underneath to go. So there won't be a lot of hair to cut here, so don't go chasing it. I am directing it back into the center or over the top of the parting. Let's 
see what that looks like. See, it actually lays it on the top here, and you'll see it more when it goes curly, but on the inside here, we've kept the length. Triangle uh, section was done in the front to create that little bit of shape, but we're gonna go back to where we used our guide in the back. I'm actually gonna start to bring that into the top. So the idea is that that short piece that I cut out here actually flows from the back. So we wanna bring hair from the back now and make sure that that doesn't overhang because that will just be, um, it'll cause trouble because it'll be a disconnection. So you can just see here, we need to make sure that's blended in. So it's not too much, just a little bit in that corner there. And we just bring the hair from the back this obviously won't reach, but you need to check anyway. And now around this side, we're gonna do the same. I'm gonna show you guys why I don't like to stand behind and why I like to cut away from the head. So if I'm doing this, you can see how hard it is to manage that. But if I, as a right-handed, it'll obviously be the opposite for left. If I stand this side, it makes it very, very easy for me to control because I'm cutting away from the head, not into my hand. I'm cutting away from, I'm cutting into my hand, but away from the head. It's a beautiful movement. Now it's time, if you haven't already noticed, let me regress a little bit. Um, we haven't done any texture at all. So I just wanna show you that if you use mathematics and geometry when you're cutting correctly, you can see how strong and almost chunky that is, but because you could actually get away with not texturizing it, but we don't want the curl to actually be sort of stacking on top of each other and looking quite bulky. So I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna um, texturize the cutting lines that I did. And we do that by going back to where we started, section at a time. So I'm gonna start here in the back. Chin down, gorgeous, thank you. If you cut horizontally, you should texturize horizontally. Color is absolutely divine. Love it.
Hit up, babe. That's good. So our shape is done, and I'm just again just going to use a little bit of Miracle Creator, which is um, nice, especially as I said already, when we're working with natural texture, especially curly. And I'm going to grab some Smooth Setter and some Airy Builder. But first, I'm going to use a Smooth Setter. And we're just going to use that. I know a lot of Hairdressers that are working with Matrix products out there are actually using it to straighten hair, um, which is amazing, but I use it as a finishing cream and I actually use it like a moisturizer, so almost like a moisturizing cream to uh, control the curl. Need a little bit more than that because it is quite light. Let me spin you around a bit. So I just like to scrunch it in through the back there, in through the sides. Especially in the hairline, gets a little bit. You know, hairline hair is just always a little bit wiry. And now we're going to use some airy builder, which, if you say it with an English accent, sounds like a hairy builder. Not too much, just a little bit. About maybe, um, I guess you could say like a golf ball size, a little bit bigger, just so it wets your hands. And again, we're just gonna work that in through the ends. Whenever I'm working with any products, especially when I'm combining products, a great thing about Matrix Style Link is you actually can combine all the products together. Um, and I think that's something that hairdressers should try and experiment with a little bit more because um, sometimes we expect a, a company like Matrix that I need a product that is actually gonna make the curl supple and hold my curl as well or support my style at the same time. Well, instead of um, having a product made for that, we just use two. So we start with the Miracle, we'll use three actually. We prepped with the Miracle Creator, we use the Smooth Setter to moisturize the hair and now we're using the Airy Builder to support the curl. And we're gonna diffuse this because we want it to be a soft straight look and we want it to look quite natural. We want it to be very wash and wear. Drying's done. Now to finish with a super cool product, Rocket Texture. Close your eyes, gorgeous. And I love this just to obviously give it texture, but I find that it just brings a flyaway in a little. Let's spin around this way so I can see it too. A little on the hands and we're just going to scrunch that in the ends just to bring it all back in don't want it to be too curly just want it to be wavy and fun Pull this back. It's nice too off the face. What do you think? Looks great. Spin around, have a look. Love it. Colors banging. I'm just going to spin you around so everyone who's watching can see. Um, so about the haircut, we probably could have gone and shaved these off, 
but I think softness is nice. I speak often about keeping um, ladies' hair soft, so you can have a look at the colour underneath there. Went through, sliced, alternating those two colours, which is Ultralights and um, Lightmaster, and we just sort of highlighted in around the face. When I came through the hairline, I actually made sure that it was blonde next to her, Nikki's face, just to sort of, I guess it makes it pop. Um, we've used some products, diffused it, it's pretty fun. Um, I think it was too long in the front, it looked like puppy ears. You know, just get that sort of like, it just sort of drags people down and uh, Nikki was saying before that, and she's fortunate that she can carry off many different um, shapes because of her face shape, um, but I think this one works really well. Thanks so much. You like it? You look amazing. I love it. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Um, do you want to shout out your Instagram so everyone can go and follow you? Sure. Nikki started an Instagram account just for me today. <laughs> just last night. Yeah. So it's Nick D B N I K D F I E. Yep, so make sure you go and follow Nikki and me. And you guys follow me on Instagram, what's going on? Like, it's crazy. Um, and please uh, share this video with someone if you think they might like it or benefit from it. Um, I appreciate you guys' support. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Go follow Nikki, follow me, and follow Access Hairdressing and Matrix as well. Um, and until next time, it's goodbye.